Okay, so how are you guys doing this morning? Anyway, um, yeah, doing all my research and everything, I've come to the conclusion that I can't make people see what's right in front of them. But the evidence is there. Okay, so we give it power. We got 7 volts lighting up a 12 volt LED. We can get it to light up a 100, 100 volt LED. And that means what? That means that in this system, you're negating all of Ohm's laws. Voltage drop, resistance, every single thing. Because what it's doing is, <clears throat> we always use the, the reference to electricity as water. Okay, well, in a sense, this becomes a water ram. You're ramming the pressure and creating volts. Now, I got a step down here to step it down to 12 volts. Right now, I got 74 volts, you know, coming out, lighting that up. And, yeah, so... I'd have to put capacitors in it to make it more stable because it won't it won't keep it going. Um, it will drop it down to 12 volts, but the moment you put a load on it, it stops. So I'd have to put a capacitor in it. But why would I want to do that? It, it already changes the values of everything depending on where I uh, put my rectifier in. And it already charges. So I can literally charge a 12 volt system on seven volts or less because I'm changing it. I'm giving it pressure, which is more volts. Yeah, it changes your wattage values crazy because um, at, at what it's doing right now, it's giving me 30.87 watts and it's only using under 1.5 watts or 1.83 one, one yeah but it would have to be a higher output anyway 